let us dwell in this topic understand how much ever is possible how much ever is possible try to understand because in every aspect i will be sharing my personal experiences this is not just theory this is my life 20 years of my research try to understand how much ever is possible these are the seven chakras we have muladhara swadhisthana manipuraka anahata vishuddha agna and sahasrara and these are the five koshas annamaya kosha pranamaya kosha manomaya kosha vignanamaya kosha anandamaya kosha and in the soul we have many levels of souls infant baby young old matured enlightened the common misunderstanding of many people is soul and consciousness are one no both are separate soul is separate consciousness is separate they both are not same soul gets matured consciousness gets expanded example before and after this workshop you all are matured right but our consciousness is in this room because there are walls so we expand up to this so this is consciousness and we matured example both are separate entities both are not same let us take the first first chakra muladhara base chakra which is purely physical plane which is the base root chakra they call as whoever is very strong in this chakra they don't have any fear on survival how i am going to survive what will happen to my family what will happen to money all these things it will not be there if they are strong in this chakra grounding people who are grounded whatever happens okay no problem grounded people safety feeling unsafe new place what will happen cab driver take me somewhere something will happen money will go all fears no that safety if you are not feeling safe then your muladhara is not strong comforts all these things has to be there only then i'll be comfortable uh, i am not comfort here if you have comfort problems your muladhara will get affected right in the book survival grounding safety comfort see where you lack there is a term called survival of the fittest the actual meaning of that is adapting to the situation if you come to a new place whatever is there if you adapt not adjust adapt adjust is compromise okay it's not there let me adjust adapt is you become one with that place okay it's a new experience let me experience that is adaptability adjustment is like something okay is not there let's adjust but it is always there the worry is there so if you have any issues here fix it if we have problem we always run towards solution but that is not the solution if you have problem you have to run towards the knowledge suppose you have problem with the mind you should start understanding what is mind instead what we will do what i should do to fix my mind 1 2 3 4 steps we will run no if you try to understand what is mind you will understand that it's you are not the mind problem is solved knowledge will free you that is the solution understood knowledge will free you knowledge and if you try to solve anything with the mind you will fail it won't give you solutions there are seven lokas above and below atala vitala sutala rasatala mahatala talatala patala seven lower worlds 
సెవెన్ హయ్యర్ వరల్డ్స్ భూర్లోక సువర్లోక భువలోక మహాలోక జనాలోక తపోలోక సత్యలోక సెవెన్ అబో అండ్ సెవెన్ బిలో బట్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఫోర్టీన్ లోకాస్ ఆర్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు యూ వీ హ్యావ్ కనెక్షన్ ఫ్రమ్ అవర్ బాడీస్ ఆల్ ద ఫోర్టీన్ లోకాస్ ద వైర్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్సైడ్ యూ యూ కెన్ గో ఎనీవేర్ scary if you can go they also can come two way our muladhara is connected to patala loka and bhur loka if you say i don't want sorry it, the connection is already there then the muladhara has to be removed from you is it possible no so as long as we have that nadi's connection of muladhara it is connected to the bhur loka that is the physical earth and also patala loka so both the connections are already there so it is purely physical plane third dimension you might have read so many books earth is moving towards fifth dimension ascension fifth dimension pleiadians sixth dimension sirians so all these planes so many books are there they are our future time travel time portals all these terms you hear but you must understand what is exactly everything if you have any problem with survival or grounding or safety or comfort you are giving invitation to patala loka people come if you are feeling unsafe patala loka somebody is saying yeah i am coming if you are feeling unsafe it's a invitation if you are feeling safe you are in bhur loka no problem patala loka cannot come so who is going to help you only you and your meditation not me your meditation will help you to remove these things you need energy to remove all the problems just understanding theory won't help you need energy so if you were fear of survival you are inviting patala loka beings go to internet and search patala loka beings veta puta pishasha everything will be there lowest in the earth plane inner core if you are unable to ground you are feeling unsafe always what you should do you should do something so that you will feel safe right keep learning every day something new there won't be fear if you are just trying to live with what you know there is always fear i don't have any fear you take everything i have everything you cannot take my happiness i don't have fear you can take everything i have no problem i will rebuild within one day that is a confidence i have that is a safety that is a grounding i have comfort anywhere i am comfort i will can sit in the lawn chair sofa road anywhere some people think sitting on the ground is great sofa is not great no is luxury bad no your attachment towards luxury is bad If there is luxury enjoy if there is nothing okay so muladhara you must take care and every organ physical organs connected there many many women face all the uterus issues urinary issues because they are not feeling safe feeling unsafe you understand safety how to survive dependency if you remove that all these problems will be removed we'll deal with karma later but these factors will affect if you are connected more to the earth plane the soil your muladhara becomes strong like agriculture if you can connect more with the earth plane rocks mountain soil your muladhara will become strong స్వాధిష్టాన స్వ ఇష్ట విషస్ 
it is connected to your etheric body people think 72000 nadi mandalas is in physical body no it is in the etheric body and when you meditate first the energy comes where to the etheric body not to the physical body ether the cosmic energy enters the ether etheric body the etheric body if you can see of somebody's etheric body there's a transparent layer i can see her etheric body very transparent layer just a practice you see someone you can see i can see practice you can see it's a thin layer the energy enters there all the nadi mandala shuddhi will happen then you will dance in meditation nadi mandala natya i call it as all that shuddhi has to happen in the second body that is swadhisthana what are the factors sensuality samsara pleasure creativity biggest thing is emotions if you are connected more with the water your etheric body gets strong i'll give you some examples if you are highly emotional go take a bath you will feel relax once i met with accident i don't know what happened i was in a frozen state after many hours i went and passed then immediately i came back to my senses people who have got into accident they can correlate the doctors say first go pass it pass out and come they also know when you meet with an accident two things will happen your emotional body gets highly disturbed the astral body immediately leaves the body it won't come this is another assumption people think only in sleep and meditation the astral body goes out it can go out even when you are awake so if you have issues pleasure samsara sensuality creativity you have to do something creative always simple thing whatever you are doing in right hand start doing in left hand so again this swadhisthana swaista which is connected to the etheric bodies when the accident happens why the etheric body did not run away why only astral body went away because etheric body cannot go it will be always with you i will never leave you my darling you and me are together until you die i will not die the first lover the first beloved person of you is your etheric body your emotions if you don't have any third eye you know spiritual in a simple you just observe your feelings so many experiences you will understand if a new person come just observe your feelings your darling etheric body will tell is is a right person or no immediately don't need third eye for that why go into sixth floor second floor is enough the second floor person will tell you etheric body why i should know all these things because it is inside us what will i gain i don't know what i will gain at least i will not lose and you know, somebody asked buddha what did you gain he said i did not gain anything but i lost many things fear anxiety everything is lost so this is a place but not a place just like you no know, people say we have a nice offer there is offer but actually it's not offer illusion maya we have heard about this word right illusion maya so many places but do you know where it is i'll give you a clue 
ఐఎమ్ ఇన్ మాయా బట్ నన్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఆర్ ఇన్ మాయా వర్డ్స్ తెలుగు దేశే మాయ మాటలు వీడు మాయ మాటలు చెప్పాడేస్తున్నాడు సో ద మాయా ఇస్ ఇన్ ద వర్డ్స్ రిమెంబర్ నవ్ యూఆర్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ మాయా ఫర్ టూ డేస్ సో స్వాధిష్టాన ఎత్రిక్ బాడీ ఇట్ ఈస్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు సువర్ లోక ఆల్సో తలా తల తలా మీన్స్ అన్స్టేబుల్ తల 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 సో యువర్ స్వాధిష్టాన ఇస్ లింక్డ్ విత్ తలా తల అండ్ సువర్ లోక all shining objects are not gold you heard it <laughs> so if you have any problems then you are giving invitation to the tala tala loka come i have problems they will happily come because you have given invitation by being imperfect this is also called kama loka so how to fix this water every day we take bath every day we drink for cooking everything we are using water but how can we come out of that remember water can store knowledge emotions people say right four walls has ears how why did they say because walls has water water content construction yes sir always so that water stores that's why they say walls has ears careful if you go to any place where is dukkha chaos on sunday you go to some hotel which is very popular go and stand in mashal dosa queue you know how restless they are one side swiggy zomato will be there is my order another fellow order what kind of food are we eating hmm there the water is highly disturbed same hotel you go on some week days no rush no queue the water will be good but during that rush hours the water will be fully unstable be everybody's emotions are there person who is waiting person who is serving person who is putting the dosas all the batter everything has water your body also has 65% water everything is affected then you call tala tala loka please come i am disturbed take my energies then you say i have nightmares and how are we going to protect ourselves by correcting the water before we connect with the water we will come to that so water is the element which will take you to tala tala loka or which will take you to suvar loka both i have not met a doctor or taken any surgery syringe for last 20 years but for the whole body medicine they only give 10 mm few millimeters right of medicine but it will spread the whole body one small glass of disturbed water if you drink the whole body gets disturbed it will mix with the existing water manipuraka manipura chakra you know who are the people who are in manipura chakra all the politicians only hollow words no truth they all are manipura empty words your mind stays here your astral body stays here astral body is connected to manipura chakra your mind is connected here ego me my money i am my place how dare you speak about me like that you do you know who i am egocentric self esteem if you have ego please work on it otherwise you will have digestion problem physically 
go to doctor you put everything digestion problem not going not going you are unable to digest others words others pointing at you i read a beautiful quotation recently they said nobody can affect your soul because it is very deep inside at most they can reach up to your mind nobody can even reach your soul you are unable to reach your soul <laughs> then how can others reach your soul is never affected it is very careful no call it as killadi it is all very deep core nobody can touch the soul it is very safe see when an accident happens the astral body is running away because it don't want all the trauma it will keep waiting okay let this fellow take rest recover if i feel okay then i'll come back it will be wandering in the astral world third floor time and again it will keep looking so this astral body is also connected to mahatala loka and bhuva loka people do linga puja linga sharira means astral body not physical body linga sharira means astral body it is related to the fire so today when we all sit around the fire and meditate our astral bodies will get cleansed your egos will burn the self esteem will burn your strength will increase you will see that you will see that this is that fire element is related to the god sun sun god so if if you are connected with mahatala loka your mind is highly disturbed all problems thought waves disturbance 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 i don't know everywhere disturbance disturbance but if you are connected with bore loka no disturbance soft smooth higher worlds lower is only disturbance higher is always good but you see the higher the chakras we are moving higher bodies we are moving we either connect to the higher world or connect to the lower world <laughs> understood we are actually mahatala is a great place but it is still the higher lower world when you move higher you either connect to the higher or much lower so see if you have ego self esteem strength then you need to work on for example today we had nice food breakfast lunch snacks anybody here feeling any uneasy in the body disturbance no why because the food which is prepared here has the pyramid energy the people here their bodies are in that pyramid zone so any food they prepare here will not have disturbances same thing we eat in city sometimes we feel disturbed right the dreams in the night are worst after you eat hotel food especially in the night the dreams the sleep are disturbed people who are sensitive they can know because the person who is preparing the food is bhava bhava thoughts are in the food a lady when she is preparing or even gents why always ladies whoever is the cooking person his thoughts has to be pure at least positive so that whole family eats the food your kids are eating it somebody asks why you should do meditation you say you keep your thoughts pure your family will be healthy then they will do anahata we are moving to fourth floor causal body favorite body why your karma sir here <laughs> you go to higher worlds after death again you come somebody asks why what is the cause of your birth rebirth i have karma man what to do i have to karma i have to be born again hmm karma 
negative karma positive karma big cycle we think something is right but karma siddhanta something says it says something else we think something is wrong but karma is universal if anybody have any doubts on karma i have 52 sessions recorded on karma go and listen everything very essential topic we must know because it is our accounts <laughs> debit and credit our balance sheet will be there <laughs> who is maintaining is chitra gupta <laughs> maintaining our balance sheet ki kitna hai udhar kitna hai idhar i went once to see how much balance i have okay but where is there it is written the balance sheet karma where is it written akashic records my name was missing there what does it mean am i not eligible or somebody hijacked my name no karma I'm like okay good it is a mahaloka if you go to mahaloka you will see big mansions pq i went there once with a file to submit proofs that i don't have any balance my file got passed then i understood oh this is mahaloka oh overcrowded <laughs> traffic jam is too high there because nobody is teaching on karma concept no hey cheat everybody it's okay who is seeing you are seeing tell lies cheat after death everything blank after death over everything over the main story starts there life after death read all barbara mersenak books you will understand beautiful books anahata chakra is related to the heart chakra <coughs> love anahata is the love for everyone animals nature universal love peace if you don't have peace no peace in life sir you know what all problems i said i don't want to hear <laughs> you do meditation no sir let me tell sorry <laughs> my senses will store it who is going to clean i have to be ruthless why rasatala people are waiting you hear we will connect hmm what should i do my chakra is connected there also i have carefully sealed and closed the door so they will not come your story will be open the door aja meri raja that's it they will all come rasatala Hmm? It's Tala. <coughs> Shining. No truth. Otherwise, I am connected to Mahaloka. You see how beautiful. Universal love. I want the whole world to become vegetarians and meditators. So that my Patala, Tala, Tala, Mahatala, Rasa Tala never opens. what to do sir they are making phone calls relative how can we avoid don't avoid talk listen to all the nonsense rasatala will enjoy you are you are giving you create your own reality now you understand the statement the moment we say you create your own reality we only think uh, affirmations wishes nahi nice, sir itna hai bada story it's a place of truth anahata animals have great heart because it is true truthful faithful so rasatala is a place of truth you connect to mahaloka which is a lower manas that is the lower section of the mind so anahata have compassion kindness towards everybody to every animals 
if you don't have compassion only have passion i want to become that i want this this passion i want to share to everybody is compassion if you limit anything to you is passion if you expand to everybody is compassion that can only happen in anahata chakra anybody who is in service they are anahata masters they don't expect anything back my cousin helps me and when time comes he said that day i helped you now you are not helping me is you call it as help oh business yaar you you gave now i have to give okay you give i give but don't call that as help and at least don't call it as service that day i helped him he is not helping me is that called help what is help definition also we don't know we simply use service unconditional i don't know that person i feel like helping i help and i get out but here there is a catch people who are soft in anahata chakra what happens they will have lot of sympathy sympathy on others ayyo papa they don't have leg ayyo papa they are disabled ayyo papa they are poor people what happens the moment you say the mantra ayyo papa rasatala connects with you and your causal body their causal body creates a bridge you get a xerox copy of their karmas now who is ayyo papa <laughs> sympathy sympathy real sympathy is you the moment they share the problems with you they are relieved yes temporarily tomorrow again they will refill they will again go and pour because there is no solution but you are attracting new karmas no sympathy you must have empathy what is empathy and sympathy sympathy is ayo papa simple definition empathy is okay yes problem i have money let me give forget teaching meditation forget i some some water you want give in road you will see this one person gets into accident 100 people standing there ayo papa they will keep on seeing one guy will go empathy he will help another guy who has empathy who will just leave but all the sympathy guys they will come they keep on looking it is previous version nowadays with mobiles live likes comments my uncle once said if there is a accident he will go and see it seems if he is our relative or a friend he will help otherwise he will leave at least he is better person he is not stopping there if you want to help get down help forget and move otherwise don't stop don't stand there and do ayo papa because you are attracting when you attract then you are in trouble you are in problem problem rasatala will become your friends hey bro i am coming it will take little time because we are very deep down we have to come four floors up <laughs> lift button pressed <laughs> one minute you press the button you pressed we are already in the lift <laughs> one doors open the secure energy the life force goes away which is in your pranamaya kosha i'll come there kosha also we will touch simple language i am explaining very difficult subject here very difficult deep but i'm slowly telling one by one vishuddha chakra vishuddhi chakra vishesha shuddhi chakra only people who are in the fifth floor they will be ready to do meditation oh mate okay let's try oh what is the meditation oh i am waiting for meditation 
अरे आई थॉट आई एम मिसिंग समथिंग मेडिटेशन इज राइट आई वॉन्ट मेडिटेशन अटलीस्ट दे आर इन विशुद्ध चक्र अदरवाइज दे विल से वाट इज मेडिटेशन टाइम वेस्ट सिंपली सिटिंग विथ क्लोज डाइज टाइम वेस्ट दीज पीपल शुड बी इंप्रिजेंट रीसेंटली वन कमेंट आई गॉट यू शुड बी गोइंग एंड डूइंग सम इंजीनियरिंग जॉब वॉट नॉन सेंस यू आर डूइंग मेकिंग पीपल अब्जर्व दर्थ वॉट आर यू डूइंग सेट you you are you must be connected to patala talatala mahatala rasathala don't connect with me thank you bye bye not interested no problem if you get into dirty arguments to do meditation meditation is right why you are not doing hu 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 rasathala rasathala is coming i am coming understood no arguments no force no compulsion no follow ups have anybody seen me following up are you doing meditation are you joining again daily i will never follow up anybody if you want you come if you go also i'll be happy if you come i'll be happy if you go i'll be double happy <laughs> that is a policy okay this fellow vanished new people will come i'm not dependent if there is five people also the session will be same 50 also same no change right vishuddha chakra vishesha chutti it is connected to your suprakausal body so here in anahata it is connected to your causal body the karmas are there only with knowledge you can burn the karmas how will you get knowledge you have to experiment you have to get experiences you have to express it you will get enlightenment look at that i gave the formula and if you don't express how will the karmas go visuddha chakra supra kausal maha karana sharira people who don't have karma their consciousness expands up to supra kausal body you understand expansion like battery light small then big then big 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 you expand communication problem mm, i can't talk words are not coming out all damage we should you attract all throat problems people who have communication problems one lady very very beautiful experience she had throat problem always some throat problem and one person said okay you recite vemana padyas every day two hours she started reciting vemana padyas vemana is a great yogi in andhra just like akka mahadevi just like tiruvallur within one month all her throat problems are gone why she was reciting truth she is a meditator too and now in all the sessions she will keep on reciting vemana padya people sit in meditation so what happened the truth if you keep speaking people just speak truth what truth how much bhagavad gita vemana padyas akamaha devi tirukural whatever if you recite knowing the meaning you connect with the truth recite mechanically it won't work like all the prohits they say all mantras they don't know the meaning no use if you know the meaning then you connect suppose i don't know chinese somebody gave a script i am reading any use will i be able to connect but if i know the meaning i connect same concept so you are vishuddha supra causal body has to cleanse communication issues expression anybody who comes to me if they have any problem with communication express i'll ensure before they leave they spill out <laughs> many would have got this experience i will not leave them talk 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 express open up they come and cleanse their vishuddha and go many they have to express express no 
why do we don't express fear what will other person think and because of our past we fail to express when you don't express vishuddha will be highly affected again honesty you imagine if i am not honest what will happen to my throat chakra because i am i am touching thousands of people right every day i have to be better be honest in everything i speak if you are not honest your body mind intellect and soul is not in sync all has to be in sync means same line It has to be aligned you understand what is alignment car ka wheel alignment four wheels has to be aligned no one left to one right what will happen breakdown so it has to be aligned properly like your chakras has to be aligned many of you know one is in the left one is on the right like billiard boards <laughs> every time they come the problem you know people do chakra meditations that chakra will be here but they will be focusing here <laughs> do you find your chakra and meditate no <laughs> it will be here here it will be moving it will not be always here if you want proof come to my office i'll show if you are not honest if you don't have guts to speak truth be in mauna no problem at least your vishuddha get little affected but if you are not honest high damage sutala little more lower why they say your walk shuddhi should be good perfect if it is not there you will become friends to sutala loka deep down more dark i have a small rose pendulum which will turn into clockwise when there is positivity when there is negativity it will turn anti clockwise my cousin now he is a builder he came to my home so i said i'll do this energy experiment he said okay everywhere it is rotating positive but when i kept near his visuddha it was rotating negative he asked me what is that i said i think you never speak truth he was like the truth came out <laughs> the real truth came out <laughs> it is rotating like it is. i said i will never believe you <laughs> one fellow came to office and he told me i want to do business with you i took the pendulum it was rotating negative i said the pendulum is not allowing he left he didn't even convince me because why why i did it's experiment here i want new experience <laughs> purification oh ho oh, oh, coughs in meditation cleansing has to happen na somebody said i am having lot of cough i cannot come here. i said you come here and cough yes madam yes you sit there and cough no issue is vishuddha is getting cleared no ayo papa okay this is a place to get cleansed come this is passion compassion not passion sutala is calling you if you are not communicating if you are not pure if you are not honest it is in the higher manas the higher side of the mind agna chakra third eye when i sat in meditation first day show opened first sitting dark room i started seeing everything without spectacles dark room everything is visible how can it be illusion you tell me it is visible everything crystal clear thousands of third eye experiences thousands even if i close now some some pictures will run this is connected to your cosmic body sixth body third eye is not only visions i always tell right now you see if you get intuitions it is through your third eye what is intuition 
either you get a thought or a intuition both are separate thought comes from mind intuition comes from your third eye cosmic body it knows better right your grandmothers know better how to deal with a kid newborn mother doesn't know his mother also doesn't know grandmother have go great experience it will know what it is happening agna chakra cosmic your intuitions comes from there visualization is not what you visualize seeing is visualization color colors your imaginations also part of third eye sir i got experience i am not sure whether it is my imagination or it is a vision when you see the third eye chakra it has two divisions that is why it is called vitala vitala patala talatala mahatala rasatala sutala vitala vitala means two it has two dimensions one is your imagination second is actual visions if you are base chakras muladhara swadhisthana manipura kanagata vishuddha is not strong not steady you will have imaginations there i know many people they say i am talking to this god i am talking to this master he is giving me messages so many people tell me when they tell me i can connect to their third eye i will clearly know whether it is imagination or it's an experience but i will not reveal there let them go through no because they have a lot of friends from vitala loka i don't want to mess with them <laughs> he will learn one day you will understand their imagination has peaked i have beautiful network of friends who are in all the ranges <laughs> why i am connected with them experiments why i want experiences then i can express why i want enlightenment why i want enjoyment why i want eternity <laughs> if i don't connect with them what fun i will get I'll, i'll ask them what's happening they will tell all their stories their experiences their experiments wow that's why your third eye has two divisions one is imagination you imagine just close your eyes imagine yeah, this is coming that is coming that plane is coming this is going reality is there this is illusions both are there in the third eye but all your base chakras all the other floors are good then you cannot imagine so people who directly say focus on the third eye and meditate third eye opens you will live in imagination fairy tales fairy lokas why all base are boka any damage all damages vitala they will show nice imaginations they say all the experiences still they are confused i was shocked once 30 years a lady was meditating 30 years so many third eye experiences one day she said an experience and said maybe it is true i was shocked maybe yeah. 30 years you have not cleared basic things so i am thorough in my subject all other subjects leave it spirituality at least i am very thorough everything i go into details very deep without using mind that's a beauty i don't use my mind i use my mind to see what time dinner where is my house where is my office today what work to certain extent of physical i use in spirituality i don't use things will channel things will flow i allowed it so the third eye has two divisions if if you observe the breath what we do meditation observe the breath no first 
the energy goes and hits the third eye. From there, it will go down to Muladhara and again it, it rotates here. This breath is never connected to Sahasrara. Not the point. That is why we say Swadhyaya Sajjana Sangatya. If, if this goes up to here, no problem. You don't need Swadhyaya Sajjana Sangatya. But breath is not reaching. Because this is not a chakra. This is a state. So in order to cover this, you must do experiments, experiences, all these things we do. For meditation, it will take care of all the base six chakras, naturally. You would have observed, no, sometimes when you observe the breath, it will go until the end. Sometimes it will only go up to here, sometimes here, sometimes only here, sometimes why? It knows how, how, how many floors it has to go, the lift knows. <laughs> Sixth to fifth or fourth, third, first floor, where energy needs. Where correction needs, the breath will go until there. It will come. People think, no, some problem. I keep do, hmm, put this, this. You force all the floors. That floor fellow is telling, it's already clean, man. What are you doing? <laughs> you are pumping again water. Nonsense. Huh? This, this you do, you forcing. As if you know everything. And they are only cleaning Muladhara, nothing else. Take deep breath or go, pump. Pranayama, they name it also. Sukhamaya Pranayama is correct. Leave it to the breath, it knows. You eat food, do you tell, hey, go little left, go to digestion, uh, now start the digestion, grind well, over, now come to the right. Go down. Do you say that? Put the food and leave it, no? Absorb the breath and leave it, it will take care. If you do anything extra, it is like you are guiding your body. But if your lungs will be waiting, now what should I do? Please tell me. Kidney is waiting. Funny, right? And people do unnatural things also, it is funny. No force, you can try. All the best for the rebirth. Agna Chakra, over, it is Tapo Lok. Tapo Lok. I went there once. Tapo Lok. I met one great master there, Tuesday Lop Sang Rampa. He was sitting in Tapo Lok. I didn't know. I know his third eye great master. Look at that third eye, Agna Chakra, Tapo Loka. Lop Sang Rampa is sitting there. Later I connected all these things. I didn't know first. That's my one of the first experiences. You know how I went? One great master came to Chennai. I went and sat. He was telling something. I was not interested in his subject, but I am very much interested in his energies. Do you understand the difference? One lady asked Patriji, Sir, for one hour that lady is talking nonsense in the stage, you are enjoying. How are you enjoying, sir? She is talking some nonsense. That no weightage in the subject. He said, I am not listening to her. I am looking at her beauty. <laughs> These girls are shocked. When the content is not good, enjoy the container. He said, anyway, I can't go out. I have to see her. What should I do? Content is corrupt. Enjoy the container. Netranandam. At least, you don't have a choice sometimes, right? Okay. People who are meditating, either you are here, here or here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Which floor? Fifth, sixth, seventh floor. If you start here also, you can come here. If you start here also, you come here. If you are already here also, you will complete. So enlightenment is guaranteed. So no problem, right? Let anybody get any experience what the difference it makes. He is, let, him, let him have third eye experience, let him do astral traveling. Let all astral master dance in front of him. What is for me? I want enlighten, my enlightenment. Don't compare your experiences. When I asked people, they said, I don't have any experience. That any, you know, ni in Sangeetha. Any experience. Ni. Need to get over. 
any experience. It means so many people have so many, I don't have any. Don't do the ragas. Rather you say all the experience was over in the past life. I just came to enlighten. Maybe that is true, maybe. Or I will experience more. So Sahasrara, it's linked with your Nirvana. Thousand petals. I told a few people petals open. Many times it opens. New experiences. New, new, new. If you are a person waiting for new, 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 your Sahasrara keeps on opening. It is linked with knowledge. How does the knowledge come? Not by reading. By reading, doors will open for you to experiment, experience. Then the knowledge comes. If you just listen, it is not knowledge. Whatever I am giving you is information, not knowledge. This information will become your eternity when you experiment. Start with experiments. Fulfillment. Fulfilled life. Always feeling, no, something is missing. Missing, missing factor. Everybody has. I'll tell you a beautiful story. I'm a good storyteller, no? <laughs> Every day online I tell stories, sometimes at least. There was a king. He was not at all happy. When he was going for a walking, he saw one peasant. He's very happy. He came back to the kingdom. He was scratching the head. Here and there, the minister saw, asked, what's the matter, king? Why you are so disturbed? He said, after having big palace, money, everything, I'm still not happy. But that peasant, don't have anything. He don't have next, next meal also he don't have. He's happy. What is the secret? I don't understand. He said, if you give me 99 gold coins, I'll tell. He said, are you crazy? Why you want 99 gold coins? He said, you want to find the truth? Give me 99 gold coins. I will show you the truth. He said, take a take. But tell me the answer. He said, wait for a few days. That minister took that 99 gold coins, went to the peasant home, kept near the door and vanished. Morning, the peasant opened the door, all sunrise, suddenly he saw a bag. Are, open karo, 99 gold coins. What he did? Recount, 99 na, maybe 100, miss na. If you count, if you get 99, what you do? Again recount. He counted twice, thrice, wife counted, children counted, 99. What question comes? Why it is not 100? Where is that one missing gold coin? And next week, the minister say, now go for a walk. Okay, king went for the walk and came back and said, hey, now he also lost peace, that peasant. He is also searching something. I thought he is more satisfied, happy, now he is also searching something. What happened? He said, I put 99 coins. He's searching that one gold coin. He want to complete it. Where is fulfillment? You have 99, you don't see that. You want that 100. After 100, you want one more zero. People told me, sir, only 40 came, sir. Next time you have to put one more zero, sir. 400 should come. I don't have that. 40, 400, 4000, same for me. Who said that? One among you, I forgot. Good, I forget. He said, one more day, zero, sir. I am fulfilled, Baba. <laughs> you are not fulfilled. Okay, intention is good, it has to reach everybody. Core people come. That fulfillment has to be there. What is fulfillment? What I have today, I am happy. Whatever you have today in your life, are you happy? What you want is next. You can wish for something, being happy or unhappy. Being happy, you can wish for something. Being unhappy also, you can wish for something. 
But being unhappy, if you wish, Atala Loka. Atala is the beginning Loka. Atala means not a Tala. Tala is shining. It's not shining. Just immediate Loka. Below the earth. It's okay. Not so dangerous. But at the same time, you can even connect with the Satya Loka. If you are connected with, with Sahasrara, you can connect to the Satya Loka. In Satya Loka, you have people who decide everything in the cosmos. That is called cosmic governance. If you read books, you will understand these terms. That is highest. There, only one thing exists, truth, nothing else. If you go to Tapo Loka, only meditation exists. Meditation, 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 nothing else exists. In Satya Loka, only truth exists. So this is about our seven bodies, seven chakras, higher seven lokas, lower seven lokas. 